fishing's been such a big part of my life for obvious reasons. And you know, when I had kids of my own, you know, the first thing I thought of was, oh, I can't wait to get these kids out on the water and you know, and take them fishing and share that passion with them. And the greatest thing in the world is watching that next generation develop that passion. Fish on back here. And just pick up the rod and steer them right up the middle. You're right behind the boat. Okay, keep the rod bent, slowly reel. There we go. Nice. That's another nice walleye. What do you think, Brandon? That's cool. That is cool, isn't it? Fun. That's exciting when that rod goes off in the rod holder, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I get to travel all over the country. I am so fortunate, so blessed to be able to fish all the different fisheries that I do. And I get to fish with some of the best anglers around. And I, I have to pinch myself every day. But I tell you what, my absolutely favorite place to fish, my favorite people to fish with, there's nothing better than coming home to Devil's Lake and fishing with my kids, Olivia and, and my son, Brennan. And we're gonna go out today and just try to catch some fish here on Devil's Lake. What do you say? Ready to catch some fish today? Yeah. What's your favorite fish to fish for, Brennan? I say a northern. Northern? You like northern pike, don't you? So I like to catch the walleyes and you like to catch the pike. And so hopefully we can catch a few of those today. Oh, right here, right here. Man your battle station. There we go. Oh, look at there. Big white bass. Bring them right over here. What do you think of that? Not bad. Not bad, huh? <laughs> here, why don't you just hold them right there and I'll help you unhook them. Here you go, got them by the lip. Got them, grab them by the, yeah, grab them firmly. Go ahead and put them back in the water. Nice fish, nice job. Bye bye. All right, swim away, good? All right, good job. You know, when it comes to getting kids out fishing, you know, a lot of times, you know, less is more in the sense that you can keep it pretty simple and the fish don't have to be big. I remember when our kids were really little, you know, we started out on, you know, four inch bluegills, just bobbers and worms. You know, as the kids got a little bit older, you know, they wanted to know how to cast. All of a sudden, dad handing them the rod, letting the kids reel in the fish, that wasn't good enough anymore. And, you know, they progressed over time, but. You know, we always try to keep it short, keep it simple. You know, I think, you know, for a lot of you watching, you know, that are parents, one of the greatest enjoyments is, is watching your kids fall in love with something that you love. And, uh, you know, as a family, you know, fishing is something that we did. You know, it's just something that we look forward to. And, you know, a lot of times it's just slip bobbers and leeches anchored up in a spot. Keep it pretty simple or trolling crankbaits, just simple presentations where they can just catch a lot of fish. They don't have to be big fish. You know, action is the attraction when you're trying to get kids out in the water. Okay. We're gonna hold the rod in one spot, slowly reel, slowly reel. Go ahead and back up a little bit. This is a good fish. Oh, slow down, back up. Okay, oh, he's hooked sideways. Yeah, just a scrapper. That fish uh, hit that thing like a freight train. Nice work. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this fish back right away. That'd be a great eater too. We eat a lot of fish, don't we, at times? That's a, you know, that's a thing is, you look at fishing. Do we have any more of them? Ah, we don't ever hardly ever freeze them. We just eat, keep a few and eat them, and then we want to eat more, we just go out and catch more. But my favorite thing in the world is coming out here with my kids or my family, and we go out, we catch a bunch of wallies just like that, we keep 10 fish will be enough for two meals where we eat a lot of fish. And we make a big deal about catching them through the day and then at the end of the day, we make a big meal of fish that we caught that are just fresh and we enjoy them as a family and that's a good day to be alive. That's good living. Remember, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's your pike, Brennan. That's your favorite right there. Here, I'm gonna per turn the boat sharp. Okay, slow down. That's what you like to catch. Okay, back up, slow down. Okay, don't reel them in any closer. Just bring them in with the rod. Go ahead and back up. Where's 
far as I can go. All right, that's good. Very nice job. Yeah, you really like to catch. These are your favorite, aren't they? Yeah. What do you like about pike? You like to fight, don't you? Yeah. They just don't give up. Yep. You're the pike master. Here, let, watch out. These these fish this size are dangerous because they don't stop flopping. I'll get the hooks out here for you. What do you think of that? That's why we're out here, huh? Foot and a half. Yeah. Yeah, we did get both now. Dude, I remember when I was a kid, I used to love catching pike just like that. That's what I grew up catching. We didn't have all the walleyes around like we have now. Go ahead and release her so she survives. There you go. Bye. All right, nice work. Fist pump? That's what you're out here for. You like the pike, don't you? Let everybody else reel in the walleyes. Right there. Go, go ahead and reel them in. That was like a good walleye. Yeah, just pick up the rod and steer them right up the middle. You're right behind the boat. There you go. One rod in one spot. Steer it over here. There you go. All right. Is it a eater? Yeah, that'd be a good eater. There. All right. So you got there a walleye? Oh, yeah. And keep her coming. There we go. We're just going out and catching fish. You know, that, that small number four size hornet is just a guide's best friend in the sense that you, you can run these in say five to eight, nine feet of water. Right now we're running them in about seven feet, eight feet. We've got about 32, 33 feet of line out. So there's a lot of vibration, but look how little that bait is. But that's the beauty of it because these little baits catch everything. And so when you just need to go out and just catch fish, they work great, and that's why I joke they're a guide's best friend because you can pull these along weed line edges. We're pulling these across scattered rock and gravel right now, but you catch rock bass, you catch crappies, you catch big bluegills, you catch walleyes, you catch pike. There's even been muskies caught on these little baits, but basically you pull a little young of the year looking profile in front of fish this time of the year, midsummer, you catch everything, and that's the beauty of it. So when you have to take kids out, or if you just want to experience a lot of action, it's just a solid program that's going to work to catch a lot of fish. Grab it. Good. That's a good one. Okay, hold the rod up one spot, slowly reel. Take your time. I'll put the boat in neutral here. Just take your time reeling. Nice and slow. I'm coming with the net. That was some excitement, huh? Go ahead and bring them up with the rod. There we go. Nice. All right. All right, just hold the net there. Boy, the rod was banging in the rod holder, huh? That was some excitement. You know, a body of water or a fishery is just tailor-made for getting a young angler hooked on fishing. Devil's Lake would be just a tremendous place because, you know, you have shore fishing opportunities. You can catch fish doing a variety of different presentations. You can catch fish from one end of the lake to the other, and the lake is just full of fish. I mean, you go to any fishy looking spot on a map and chances are you're going to catch something. It might not always be big fish, but you're going to catch fish. So when it comes to getting kids fishing, that's what it takes. Okay, keep the rod a little higher. Okay, slow down. Reel them right to the net. Keep reeling, keep them reeling. Steer them this way, over the top of my head. Keep them coming. Here we go. Nice work, Brennan. That's a dandy there. Fist bump. <laughs> Without poking me in the head with the rod. All right. Yeah, just set the rod down here. Well, that is sure a nice walleye. That is a nice walleye. Here, let's get this fish out of the, unhooked here and out of the net. That little number four hornet again. It's just amazing what these catch. Okay. Let's bring them in the boat here. Here, put your fingers underneath their gill. Hold on to them good. Now cradle the belly. There you go. I got him. There you go. Here, let me get a picture real quick. Oh, nice work, This is probably my biggest walleye so far. Yeah, so far this summer, I think it's one of your bigger ones. Remember, one spot, yep, steer him right up the back. Slow down. 
There we go. Oh yeah, walleye. Is that you think it's slow one? down, slow down. Yeah, just keep them skiing. There you go. There you go. Come, bring them around up to the net. Oh, don't reel anymore. Just back up. Here we go. All right. Okay. That fish would look good in grease. That was right on the waypoint, too. Yeah, just, uh, there are so many fish like that, probably about a 14 inch walleye, which if you have kids, <laughs> you can go out and catch 30 of those in a day and eat like a king at the end of the day. You know, just a, just a great, great resource. Bring, bring it out to the side. Oh my God. Got it? Keep her bent. There you go, keep her bent. Okay, slow down. There you go. So, what do you got there? Oh, there's a big pike. Oh, that's why we're here, right? But well, we've got action. Bring them over to the side. There we go. Hey, nice work. How, well, how big is that one, a 40 inch? <laughs> how big is that? Big enough, right? Was it a fun fish? Yeah. All right, these are your favorite, aren't they? Here, put your finger. Here, Kate, go ahead and grab and pinch, 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 pinch. Okay, pinch your hand. Okay, and then put your other hand. There you go, just like that. Great job, Brennan. Great job. Oh, fish on, Brennan. The last one of the day. All right, the get it out. Keep the rod out to the side. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. There you go. Nope, you got a nice walleye. Nice walleye here. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Here, steer them, steer them, bring them back. Back up in the, back up. Bring them in with the rod. There we go, nice. <laughs> Great fish. Look there. Nice work. What do you think? You like fishing, Brennan? Fishing a good time? Good. Good, good, good. Look at that in the water. What a great day. Thanks for coming along, Brennan.